so a little bit of a different video today a little bit of a different subject to my normal to my normal fare um, today we're having a heat pump fitted which is the last brick in the getting rid of fossil fuels puzzle in our house um, so I just thought I'd share a little bit about our journey for getting a heat pump. We kind of resigned ourselves to not being able to get a heat pump this year, so we had literally just filled up our LPG tank, unfortunately. So we're going to have to get somebody to come back and, and pick that up and pump it out. Probably for less money than what we paid to put it in, but better than a smack in the face with a cold fish, as my dad would say. Um, anyway. When we went to Everything Electric down in Farnborough, we spoke to a company called Aera and um, they offer a total service, kind of similar to the Octopus setup where they'll come and they'll have their own guys and do everything and fit everything and uh, they supply their own equipment and they guarantee it for 15 years. So that is what swayed us to finally make the plunge and get a heat pump. The inside unit is going to go in here, which is where our old gas boiler is. Well, our gas boiler, which isn't actually that old, but this is where the uh, internal unit's gonna go. I'm just gonna back it up a little bit so I can see. It's basically a uh, utility room cupboard. So keep the hoover and the loo paper. Um, so it's pretty much going to take up that entire space at that end of the utility room cupboard. Down the side of the house here we've got the meter cupboard and this is where our electric comes into the house. This is like where the mains breaker and everything is and the mains house fuse. And the heat pump unit itself is going to go somewhere along this wall in between the drain pipe and the electricity supply and it nicely fits in with the colour scheme being sort of a charcoal-y grey. And out here we've got the uh, Aero Guys vans. And uh, this is the heat pump, which is nicely going to fit in with the rest of our stuff, colour-wise. And uh, this is the unit that's going to go inside in that utility room cupboard and lots of bits of plumbing. Upstairs we've got our big tank is coming out. And this is where the little buffer tank's going. There you go. Cylinder is gone. The buffer tank has gone in. A couple of new bits of pipe, I think. New buffer tank in. I'll actually get an airing cupboard out of this. I could put some shelves up there. This is the carnage in the spare room. I've had to move all the furniture out of here. And uh, they've been finding pipe work in under the floor and feeding it through. They'll be putting all of this back to normal and you won't even know that they've been in there later on. In here, we no longer have a boiler. There is a gap and a flue, flue hole, all the way through the house. So yeah, this is all ready for them to start putting in a heat pump tomorrow. This is day two and we've got the internal unit in place. A lot of connections and stuff going on up there. Uh, so that's in the utility room cupboard and out here we have got the outside unit. It's a bit dark because I've just driven home from the office but uh, there we go. quick channel plug. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because uh, that helps drive the algorithm. 
and uh, if you've got any suggestions for things that I should be covering then feel free to uh, send me a comment and I'll see what I can do. On Wednesday and Thursday the um, fitting was pretty much mostly just plumbing, 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 a bit more plumbing and then a little bit of electrics needed finishing off and then the system was ready to commission. The system got commissioned on Thursday and we were so toasty warm Thursday night. We, uh, we, we hadn't had heating for um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, Thursday, four, four days, three nights and four days. So having the heating on was absolute bliss. And uh, we were lovely and toasty warm when the guys turned up on Friday morning to tidy up. Here we have the unit finally in place and it's been running last night and it's all up to temperature. There we go, there's like lots of pipes, there's electrics and overflow pipes and inlet pipes and outlet pipes all up there. And the uh, thermostat for it is over here. So this gadget on the wall is the thermostat. And there you go, 22 degrees. So this got switched on yesterday afternoon and it's up to 22 degrees now. The outside unit, all plumbed in as a drain pipe for the condensate. There's, again, inlet and outlet pipes. And, uh, there she is. They uh, still need to come and do a little bit of tidying up. But there you go, pipes go into the garage loft, through the garage loft, into the spare bedroom up there, and then into the airing cupboard upstairs. And across here and into the uh, utility cupboard here where the in indoors unit is. And then those are the overflow pipes coming out and that's where the flu came out and it's going to be made good. And the spare room is back to having floorboards down and having carpet down. So there we go, everything is done in here. This is the uh, piece of carpet that came out of the airing cupboard. That's not going to go back in. We're going to need to get a new piece of carpet. And then this is the completed upstairs cupboard with the buffer tank, um, a new oversized um, expansion tank, that's the old expansion tank, um, and loads more space. That little bit of carpet is not going to cut the mustard in there. I'm going to have to go and see if we can find an off cut somewhere at one of the carpet shops. There you go, that's all the pipe work in, all the lagging done, and all the other gizmos gone. There we go. Morning. So we've had the heat pump system running for a couple of weeks now, and I thought I'd do a quick update um, on the end of my video. So we are absolutely toasty warm. We've moved the um, thermostat gadget from downstairs to upstairs and uh, we've tweaked about with when we're heating the hot water so it, it heats up the 250 litre tank overnight on our cheap electricity and um, doesn't bother with the water for the rest of the time and we've tweaked about with the temperature a little bit. I think the water temperature was running 45 degrees and we found that we were running out of hot water when the three of us decided to have a shower in the day and we'd also done washing up a couple of times. So we've tweaked that up to, I think currently 65. We might tweak it back down again a little bit. Other than that, the system is running 24 seven, heating our house up beautifully. It's pretty much a, a constant 21 degrees inside the house during the day. And at night we step it back to 19 degrees. The Aera app 
gives you an overview of what your heat pump is up to so you can check it at any time. It gives you details about your current outdoor temperature and indoor temperature. It gives you details about your current amount of water. It allows you to set schedules for heating water. It allows you to see your energy usage over time. We've already had a, an app update from Aero which allows us to automatically do the setback of a few degrees overnight. Saves us having to do it manually, which is great. I've included a link in the description below to an error referral code that I've been assigned as well, and that will give you some money off an install. Feel free to use it if you've found the video helpful. I will take you around and show you the system in a second. This is what the chaps did outside to finish off. So this is the overflow, I think. So this is the old one here. This one is still in use because the upstairs system overflows down into that pipe. And this is the new one for the indoor heat pump unit. And this is what they put over the hole where the flue came out. So that all looks nice and neat and tidy. See if I can step back far enough to show you both at once. No, I can't. And that's the old gas cupboard. So, at some point, that will hopefully be coming out. And there you go, there's the outdoor unit. It's not currently doing anything at the moment. So there's literally no noise whatsoever. And you can see the bits that get cold because there's condensation on it. All looks very neat and tidy. There's isolation switch and our meter cupboard coming in from the main supply. The indoors thermostat was here in the utility room and we decided that it was actually switching off the heat pump a bit too soon. The house was feeling a bit chilly because this room obviously has the fridge freezer in it which gives off heat and the tumble dryer and the washing machine which gives off heat and then here this is obviously where the indoor unit is which gives off heat um, and there is also the underfloor heating in here which gives off heat so we decided that this probably wasn't the best place to put the thermostat and we decided to move it and this is where we moved it to this is in the upstairs hallway and as you can see this says it's 21 and a half degrees up here. It's, it's in the hallway which is sort of between a bedroom and a bathroom. Um, so it's kind of like not the coolest place in the house but it's, it's a good place to check the temperature. We have a second thermostat in our main bedroom and as you can see that also says it is 21 and a half degrees. So quite clearly the thermostat out in the hallway is actually working really well and the whole house is now at a really comfortable temperature. So this is the buffer tank cupboard. As you can see, our toilet rolls have come up here from the downstairs cupboard. Uh, the little, little piece of carpet has been refitted. We need to get an off cup because we've currently got bare boards and quite a lot of the space back here. So the buffer tank's in there. I haven't yet managed to get my shelves up. Um, everything is neat and tidy and lagged and running very quietly. And there is literally no heat loss from that whatsoever. In conclusion, would I recommend Aera? Yes. Yes, I would definitely recommend error. I would say to keep an eye on your tradesmen um, because the best will in the world, a tradesman's idea of tidying up doesn't necessarily match your idea of tidying up. Um, we did need to go around and uh, do some tidying up after they'd gone. There was just dust everywhere in the house, unfortunately. 
Um, but yeah, the, the error system is working well. It is pretty much just set it and forget it. Uh, very much like anything Tesla. And uh, it just kind of does its own thing, keeps us all toasty warm, and uh, generally we are very, very happy with it. I should probably post uh, another video in, I don't know, a month or two's time maybe, to collate like our running stats, if I can pull those out of somewhere, and to give you some sort of idea as to how much it's costing us to, to run the heat pump. Um, other than that, if anybody's got any questions at all, post them in the comments and uh, I hope the video has been useful to some people and I will wish you all a very very happy new year and see you all again in 2025